Okay, now let me show you what you can do in case you want to remove uh, the um, music widget from the unlock screen of your iPhone. Because, for example, as you can see, it is right here on my uh, device. When I go down to the notification panel or lock screen, you can see that it is right here. Now, the most obvious or the basic way how you can delete that is simply by closing the app, which is uh, responsible for the widget for appearing. So, in case for me it was music the actual apple music was playing here so when i want to remove the widget i just have to go to the multitasking panel and swipe up on the apple music right now when i come back you can see that nothing is in here anymore the problem however could begin if the widget is kind of blank and it's not like it doesn't have anything in it it's just bugs or something just happens and you just cannot remove it from there. In this case, the very same principle, like in case it just gets stuck in here and it just like blank and it doesn't work, again, just close the app which was the last using it. Because for example, if you are using it with music, just close music. But as you probably know, it doesn't have to be just that because you can, for example, just get um, the Spotify, whatever it's, it's gonna be. It doesn't matter, like you just play any song or whatever like Christmas or whatever, and when you come back to the lock screen, now you have the Spotify widget, but you cannot really notice it because it looks the same. The music widget is the same, but right now, closing the Apple Music doesn't do anything, of course, because the widget is from Spotify, so you now have to close the Spotify app, and right now the widget is gone from the lock screen. So what I'm trying to say is that at first close the app which is responsible for it and if it just gets stuck just restart the iPhone. After that chances are that it will no longer be there anymore. And yeah, that's like the uh, the way to go about it. Of course, if you consistently notice that you have problems like these, what you should do is of course go ahead and open up the App Store, I mean uh, the uh, uh, settings of your uh, uh, iPhone and just go to the software update and just like download and install the latest version of iOS just so your iPhone is actually up to date and these kind of things can be like fixed a lot of times so yeah this is something to to know about and pay attention to for now I'm gonna wrap up the video but before I do I need to show you the Fox Tech educational platform which you can join right now it's free to join link is below in the description and there you can watch some content about iPhone and learn more in the classroom section like video editing and in-depth iPhone guide, so many th different things to, to play with. So yeah, go ahead and check it out right now. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.